Hi friends, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. And we're gonna be doing a book haul today. And this book haul consists of not only just like regular store purchase books, but library books. And I'm kind of excited about that because this year has been the year of utilizing the library and realizing that, and I don't know why I didn't realize this before, but the library gets new releases really fast, especially like my library system. If my library doesn't have it, I can go to any other library in my county, I think. Yeah, any other library in my county, which is part of the library system. And nine times out of 10, you can get the new releases. Sometimes you can, sometimes it's like just specific to that library at first. So if you wait a little bit, you might be able to get it, but you just have to be willing to wait. So that is why I'm doing a library haul and a regular book haul. I'm gonna start with the library books because those are going to be what I'm prioritizing since they do have to go back to the library at some point. Some of them are 14 day releases. One of them, I'm missing one. Hmm, I don't know where it is. But the one that I'm looking for is a 21 day loan. So that's nice. The other two are 14 days. This is gonna pop me now, where is this book? I don't know. I used it for an Instagram post and now I don't know where I put it. But anyway, let's start with that one. Put the picture of it, I'll put the picture of the cover right here on the screen. It is, you can't spell tea without treason. It is a cozy fantasy. I have been wanting to get into like cozy fantasies, cozy romance, cozy thrillers, like all of those kinds of books for so long because the stakes are so low and it's just like a feel good read, even though there's like other things going on. So that's gonna be the first one that I read. I think I'm gonna pick that one up tonight. I don't know though, because I am, and this is not like a reading update. I'm gonna get to the haul, I promise. Um, I'm reading one, two other books right now. I'm really trying to get my current, re currently reading down to just one book before I start another book, because at one point I had like four or five books going at the same time and it just, it was a lot. So I think I'm gonna pick that one up next. And again, I'll put the picture of the cover here. The next book that I picked up from the library is Intermezzo by Sally Rooney. And I also picked up, actually, where is it? Oh, there it is. We'll throw this into the book haul too, because technically it's now mine. So I picked up Normal People by Sally Rooney from a little free library. And then I picked up Intermezzo from the actual library. So I have to find out whether these are connected, like the same universe or not. And if not, I'm probably gonna read this one first because it's new. But if they are, I think I'm gonna have to start with this one and just like go on a Sally Rooney binge to get up to this one. Cause I only have this one for another 14 days. No. I have this one for probably 12 days. And then I have the next book that I'm gonna show you for another 14. So I just have to figure out what's going on with these. Not this one, this one. I just have to figure out if I can renew it again and if they're interconnected, if I can read them as standalones. I really hope I can read them as standalones. The next library book that I have, which I was not aware that this was I guess kind of like a historical fiction kind of, I don't really know. Because it takes place in ancient, not ancient, but um, like the Spanish golden age. So I don't really know too much about this one. Aside from the fact that I liked the cover, <laughs> it is um, The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. And she is the author of Ninth House and Hellbent, which I still haven't read either of those, but I like the cover of this one. And I think it's fairly new. I'm not sure when exactly this one came out, but it also has like the black sprayed edges, which I thought was cool. So I'm hoping this gives me like fall, maybe some spooky vibes, maybe some fantasy. Seems like there's magic. Yeah, I'm not totally sure, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. The next book, now that we're getting into regular books that I have picked up, oh, I found the other one. This is the first book I was talking about. It's got the blue spray edges, which I thought was cute. And apparently this is a series. So this is book one, Cozy Fantasy Steeped with Love. Can't spell, can't spell treason without tea. I think I said it the other way around. So here is that book now. I'm just very excited to 
read this. I kind of want to listen to it, but since I have it from the library already, I might as well just like sit down and actually read it. The next book that starts the physical book journey is All the Colors of the Dark by Chris Whittaker. I haven't seen too much about this one, but so many people have told me it's like a five or six star read. So I just had to buy it. I wanted to really see what the hype was about. And it's more of like a psychological suspense, not really like thriller, but I'm okay with that. And I, I think this is going to be a good time. This is also very high on the TBR. I will probably start it this week or next, hopefully. I'm going to start it soon because I think that's also going to give me like fall spooky psychological thriller kind of vibes. I have this bag of books that I picked up on Tuesday, which never made it into the weekly vlog, but Tuesday was a kind of a rough day. So I had rewards at Barnes Noble and I said, you know what? I'm going to use those rewards because there's a few books that I would like to buy. And since I had like $35 in rewards, I said, okay, why not? The first book I'm going to pull out of here. Oh no, I kind of like bent that. Is, you've probably seen this one all over Instagram at this point. Blue Sisters by Coco Mellers. So this is the cover. And this is another one I've seen some really, really great things about. And she is also the author of Cleopatra and Frankenstein, which I think I also, I did also pick up. So I have both of these books by her. I really love her covers and just the art. So I wanted to pick up both of them. I was kind of hoping this would be in paperback because this is in paperback, but I'm okay with the hardcover because it is also signed and it was $5 off. So I said, sure. Is it actually signed? It looks like it's actually signed, which is pretty cool. Um, and the Read with Jenna sticker is not removable. It's on there for good. Um, do I know what this one's about? No. Do I know what this one's about? No. But I feel like I am entering into this, I don't want to say anti-rom-com or anti-romance, but I'm just not really into the rom-coms right now. Like I had just finished Play Along by Liz Tom Ford. That was more sports romance. And I enjoyed that one a lot. But to me, picking up a like just basic simple rom-com where I can almost predict the plot is not something that I'm really interested in right now. I'm really interested in the deeper meanings, like books that make you think. So fantasies, thrillers, um, contemporary fiction, I just love the in-depth story behind the characters, watching them grow, um, and then the story as a whole. So I think that's why I'm gravitating more towards these kinds of books instead of picking up, like, nothing against the authors I'm going to name right now. Tessa Bailey, um, Sarah Adams, what was the other one that I can think of? Um, Elena Armas, like, I absolutely love them. But I think I'm in a season of life right season of life right now where I just don't want to read those kinds of books. And that's okay. I feel like we all go through seasons as readers where we're like thrillers or sci-fi or romance or nonfiction. Like it's kinda cool. I don't know. That's just me in my opinion. Not realizing this was part of a series, I picked up the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore by Lori Gilmore. I have to get the pumpkin spice one today I think either today or at some point this week but these just look so cozy look at them it's a romance I know I just was talking about the rom-coms and how I'm not really into them right now <laughs> but I think this one's gonna just be seasonal and cute and fun so I'm looking forward to this and I think I'm not really like a seasonal reader but for the fall I am 100% so anything that's like pumpkin spice or there's a coffee shop on the front or like a bookstore on the front, like those are the books I'm gravitating towards. And then last, but certainly not least, I don't even know if I bought the first book. I tried to figure out how to read this universe. I'm still very confused, but it is the Brandon Sanderson universe that I'm about to dive into. And this one is called Mistborn. I don't know if this is the first book 
From what I saw on his website, it looked like the answer was yes, that you can start here, there's a good place to start, but I follow some people that didn't start here. So, I don't know. If you have any feedback input on the Brandon Sanderson universe, please let me know because I'm hoping this is the first one and I don't just jump into like a second or third book and get really confused. I also, look at this flop factor. I, like, every book should be like this, in my opinion. And I also like that the font is not crazy small. It's small, but it's not like anything out of the ordinary. I wonder if there's a map. If there's a map, I'm gonna be, well, <gasps> there's a map. Usually I feel like paperbacks don't have maps. Oh, there's one, two, three maps. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, if you have any input on how to read these, please, please, please let a girl know. So that way I'm not crazy confused here. But that is the book haul. I am real excited about these books. I've been waiting to purchase these books for a while now. So now that I finally have them, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I forgot another little free library book. Wait, oh, it's over there. It's behind the tripod. I'm not going to get it right now, but it's called Hunting Prince Dracula. It is a Carrie Maniscalco book. It, I think, goes with the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, and I think that's book three. I have, why are they out of order? I have Stalking Jack the Ripper, and I have Kingdom of the Feared. And I have Throne of the Fallen, all by her. I haven't read any of them yet. But I saw this one and the cover looks familiar, so I was like, oh, let me pick it up. Um, I just have to see like where it goes in the grand scheme of things. But that is the book haul, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to drink your water. Don't forget to have a great day. Um, don't forget to eat because that's important. Food and water are important. And don't forget to have a great day because you deserve a great day. So I'll see you all in my next video. And yeah, that's it. Bye guys.